Check your phone right quick, bro. They'll let you know when to pop up. You're real lying. We're live. It surely is, right? Mm -hmm. All right, Shalawam, Shalawam, another GMS on the pretty much going into um the word is speaking loud and clear. We're saying that we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Next double honor to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Look, regardless of people here for a bit, look, these are the things that we've been praying for, right? We've been praying for more death. We've been praying for more destruction, more plagues, more diseases. We've been praying for Yahweh Bashem Al to make his move. And then now that they're making their move, ain't no need to get scared now. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no need to get scared now. You trust in the Lord, you fear your how about Shemel Shai. So look, guess what? We have nothing to worry about, man. All right? So we're going to hop right into it. And Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Go ahead, bro. And this is uh, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. All right. And it reads, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. And what's the vision? The prophecies. It's for an appointed time. Just like when you go to Ecclesiastes, to everything, there's a season and every purpose under the heaven, like you got winter, spring, summer, and fall. We've been praying for these things to come to pass. But yeah, how about Shem Yahweh He's going to make them happen at an, at an expected time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When he wants the things to happen, we just got to know, saying, have patience. The scriptures tell us to just wait, sit back and wait. All these things are going to come to pass. The Lord just said, look, I'm going to give you the word. I'm going to give you the truth. I'm going to give you the, the gift of faith to believe in the truth. Only thing you got to do is just wait on everything to happen because it's going to happen. Go ahead. It's Rebecca 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And, and look, everything is speaking. The words of the Bible are speaking loud and clear, man. The Lord says he's going to send plagues upon the earth, you know, death, destruction, widowhood, poverty. And that's what you see happening at an alarming rate. It look, it's so much stuff happening. Look, wars, rumors of wars. It's so much stuff happening right about now, man. You most definitely can't keep keep up with it all. That's why one brother's going to bring out this. One brother's going to bring out that. Another brother's going to bring out that. Because that's the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem El Rashai. At the end, it shall speak with the end of this rulership, this kingdom, man, this corporation, Esau's rulership. And it's a wonderful thing. But we're going to be in the midst of everything that's coming down the pipeline. That's why we most definitely need to pray to the Lord, man. You got something, bro? I'm going to keep reading. Yeah. It says, and at the end, <clears throat> but at the Habakkuk 2 and 3, and it reads, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Oh, yeah, bro. They said the Bible was a fairy tale book, right? Mm -hmm. They said the Bible won't real. They say what we're reading, bro. Why, why are y'all believing in a book that was written by the so-called white man? It ain't real. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of falsehoods and it's a bunch of fairy tales in there. Why, why everything that we're reading according to the Bible, then why is happening then? If the Bible isn't real, why is everything that the Bible foretells to happen happening right now, man, if it ain't real? Go ahead. Though it, though it tarry, right. wait for it. Because it would surely come. And the word Terry means to wait. So though it seemed like it's taking the God of the Bible a long time to take this place down, it's still going to happen. Mm -hmm. Though it Terry, wait on it. Because you got a whole lot of guys, you know what I'm saying? They got tired of waiting on your how about Shemel Shai, bro. So they went right back into the world. They became, they started rapping again. You know what I'm saying, bro? They started seeking a rap career. Some of them went to Hollywood. Some of them just felt the truth and just went and got them a regular job, bro. And said, the hell with it, right? The scripture said, though it tarry, wait for it. Go ahead. Because it will surely come. Right, meaning the prophecies, it will surely, it will truly happen, man. Go ahead. It will not tarry. And the scripture, Romans 3 and 3, so what if some did not believe? So what if the majority of the Israelites or the whole earth don't believe in the words of your how about Shemel Shah? Everything that the Bible said was going to happen is happening now. Full throttle, man. I mean, it's full. Look, don't blink. The Lord is like, yo, don't blink. That's how fast things are happening. You blink and they'll say we're in a, uh, like a college um, district area to where no saying you see nothing but a bunch of lost sheep walking around. They don't know what the hell going on. They don't know martial law is about to pop up. They don't know nothing about the coronavirus being in the States right about now. They don't know nothing, man. But the men of the Lord, look, the secrets was revealed to us, man. 
and we're, and we're here to reveal the secrets that was revealed to us, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have the light, you know? We're right. able to see in this darkness. You know, we have Lord Yahweh Shai. That's right. This is um, Jeremiah 28 and, and 7. Right. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears. Look, look. Now, therefore, hear this word, the words of the Bible. It ain't talking about, see, our people, you know what I'm saying, take more, pay them, they take more heed and they pay more attention to the Quran, to the Egyptian Book of the Dead, to the Book of Mormons. And you know, the majority of our women, they read in those other nonsense books. You know what I'm saying? Those um uh, love novels and all this is this is the best um story and the best novel, you know what I'm saying, to read is the Bible. But our people take heed to these other books. The scriptures say now is the time to take heed to what this book is saying, man. Drink water out of thine own cistern, you know? Go ahead. Nevertheless, hear hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears right. and in the ears of all the people, right? The prophets that have been before me. And before the old prophesied, man, they told you things that was going to happen before it even happened. Look, sometimes days, sometimes years, sometimes centuries before things even popped off, the prophets were sent forth to teach you the word and to give you the word before it even happened, man. Prophesied both against many countries, right, and great kingdoms, right, of war. See, the prophets prophesied of war. See, look, look at all these things you got going on right about now, bro. You got the coronavirus. You got different plagues. You got you got race riots. You got uprisings of the people. You got earthquakes in diverse places. You got wars and rumors of wars. Look, bro, all happening at one time, bro. The, the economy is about to crash. These people are really about to bug out. Because pursuant to Isaiah 33 and 6, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, a.k.a. the Bible, shall keep you stable when all hell breaks. These people are going to bug the hell out, man. Mm -hmm. The president lying to him, so he's gonna make America great again. You got these pastors and your um your local so-called leaders, you no know saying they lying to you, saying peace, 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 when there shall be no peace. Go ahead. And it reads of war and of evil. So World War Three, that's what uh, America's getting ready to get involved with, you know, and that's what's gonna destroy this place, man. World War Three, the nukes being shot over here. Along with the chariots, what they even call UFOs, shooting laser beams on this place, right? It says a war of if evil. Meaning bad times. Look, look, that's why the coronavirus is in the states now. That's yeah. the God about. To see, the prophets told you that bad times was coming, but our people wanted to ignore the words that you have about Shemuel Shai. Look, look, look. What they say, bro? You can't judge me. I don't want to hear you. I'm waiting on the Lord to tell me to turn from my wickedness. No, the Lord said, take heed to what my servants are telling you. You know. Hear that prophet. Go ahead. Yep. That's right. And it reads in the pestilence. You know I mean? uh, Jeremiah 28, yeah. 8. And it reads and against great kingdoms of war and right. of evil and of pestilence. Right. The pestilence going into those different diseases, man. Okay. Can you look up that word pestilence? It goes into plagues, you know, infections. And all kind of play these man. A is that an all time high cancer? Is that an all time high? Um, diabetes is that an all time high? And that coronavirus most definitely is going throughout the four corners of the earth, man. And it's plaguing these people. Then they saying you got to cut your beard off, you know, to avoid from catching the coronavirus, bro. Is that unheard or what? Is that insane, insane or what? Mm. But that's sleazy E, though. You know, that's part of his madness. See, this is the time right here to be building. See, you don't wait for all hell to break loose to start calling on the God of the Bible. The Lord says, seek me now. Why I may be found. Why the men of the Lord are still pushing out these videos and still pushing out this word at a high frequency. This is the time to be building up a personal relationship with the God of the Bible. The scriptures say, look, though it tarry, don't look, look, wait for it. And the scriptures also tell us don't tarry when it comes to seeking the Lord. Don't put it off from day to day for suddenly your ass catch coronavirus, right? For playing around with the Lord. Or you end up homeless, then you start crying to the Lord, Lord, help me. Nah, it's too late now. Uh, okay. Yep. This is taking Timothy 3 and 1. Know this also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And we this, that's how you know we're living in the last days of the last days. We're living in perilous times right about now. The scriptures tell us to walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're living in some bad times, man. The majority of the Israelites ain't got no job. You know what I'm saying? The majority of our people are homeless. And we're living from paycheck to paycheck, man. We, you one check away from being homeless, man. 
These are perilous times. Here's the definition of perilous. Yep, that's the spirit. The definition of perilous is full of danger Damn. or risk. Oh yeah, look, priest, police bomb brutality is at an all-time high. You know, what does it say again, bro? Yeah, the definition of perilous of full of danger. Damn. Our risk. Oh yeah, because we're living in um, the valley of the shadow of death. So this mm -hmm. place is full of danger, man. You can get caught up and trapped up. That's why our main focus should be the words of your how about your mouth shot, man. It's a whole lot of traps out here, man. Stumbling blocks, man. You get trapped up out here in America, man. Throughout the four corners of the earth, but look, mainly here in America, man. Mm -hmm. It's all kind of pitfalls. If you're not walking around circumspectly, if you're not walking around being wise, man. Because you, you see the majority of our people, they're walking around like a bunch of fools. They don't know what the hell going on once again, man. This is a uh, second Ezra chapter 15, verse five. Right. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. See, you got the Bible. So he's going to bring plagues upon the world. Pestilence, diseases, uh, um, pandemics, man, an epidemic. When you go into that word plague, these different diseases. One of those plagues, I'm saying, is that coronavirus. And we, well, look, we ain't seen nothing yet. The God of Bible ain't even cleared his throat yet, man. He's going to make a move on this place, man. She got um, 300. Uh, it's probably more than but last time I um, checked, it was like 360 million people being quarantined, man. And I know it's way more than that now. It's over 700 million. Damn. Look, over 700 million. I told you, if you blink, you know what I'm saying? If you blink, you'll miss out on some things, man. Over 700 million people are being quarantined right about now. Italy is locked down right about now. But the only thing our people think about is having fun. That's why the scriptures tell us, is, look, it's better to go to the house of mourning than go to the house of feasting, man. This is the time to be seeking the Lord, man. This ain't the time to be playing around. Yeah, they say 10% 10 of the earth's population is in the quarantine. Damn. Mm -hmm. It's going to get bad out here, bro. Yep. 2nd Ezra is five, 15 and 5. Behold, saith the Lord... I will, I will bring plagues upon the world, mm. the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And ain't that what you're seeing happening? That sword represents destruction. And you see all these people, you know what I'm saying, hungry. And a famine can pop off at any time, man. Look, it ain't nothing but GMO foods in America. Ain't nothing real. So it makes you think a famine can't come. You're already in a famine already. You're already in a famine already, bro. Anytime you're eating um, GMOs, genetically modified um, organisms. That's, that's that's you being in a famine already. The trucks can stop at any time from bringing this fake food to your grocery store, man. Mm -hmm. What else? It said it said the sword, the famine. Yep, it said and it reads, uh, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And look, that's what the God of the Bible is bringing. You see death is at an alarming rate too, and destruction everywhere. See why people over here in America, you know what I'm saying, just thinking about school and. Just thinking about nonsense, going to the movies and all that. These third world countries are going to war, man. There's bombs being dropped, houses being exploding like hell, body parts everywhere. That's what the prophets prophesied about, though, right? Yeah. They, the prophets didn't prophesy of peace, man. The scriptures tell you, um, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is going to come upon them as travail upon a one with child, and they shall not escape, man. This is, um, Second Ezra 15, verse uh, verse 14, it says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Right, destruction unto the world and them that dwell therein, man. And that's all you're going to see. The more and more and the closer and closer we get to the end, the very end of this deal, Esau's kingdom, man, you're going to see more death and destruction. Because look, the scriptures tell you, Revelation 12 and 12, the devil shall come down with great wrath. Knowing that he only got a short time to rule, this devil's like, yo, if I can't rule, can't nobody rule. He gonna bring more plagues and more diseases than a little bit, man. We better pray to the Lord, man. Verse 15, for the destroy for the sword in their destruction draw of nine. Right. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. Hey, look, that race riot coming. Mm -hmm. Why are people playing around? That rich riders come and see these these um sleazy ease. They training their little kids, you know what I'm saying, with warfare, guerrilla warfare. Our people are teaching their kids how to twerk and how to do their nay nay and how to just watch cartoons all day when, when sleazy E and his kids are in the woods. You know? Hiding. Teaching each other. You got you got three year olds, bro, learning how to shoot shotguns, bro. You know what I'm saying? Three year olds, bro. Mm. What I what 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 are people teaching their kids, bro? You know, how to dance, bro. 
bands are making bands and all this other nonsense, man. You know, it's nonsense, man. <laughs> Different instruction is right around the corner, and our people ain't teaching their kids nothing, man. They ain't get them, getting them spiritually in tune with your how about Shimia Rashai. They pray more or nothing, bro. Just teaching them straight folly, man. It's gonna be for your that's gonna be to your condemnation, right? Yep. This is second Ezra 15 and 15. For the destroy for the sword in their destruction draweth nigh. Right. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. Right. It's gonna be the um the Israelites, aka you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Interact Indians against these Edomites and these other nations, man. Mm -hmm. And this is gonna be infighting within these different nations, man. Let's get ready to get crazy out here, man. It's, yeah, sun is out right about now. Everybody's going on with their day to day. Everybody using cell phone. These people don't know what the hell going on. But then sudden destruction is gonna come just like that, bro. It's gonna be just like this because the scriptures tell you in the days of Noah they was eating, they were drinking, they was marrying, giving in the marriage. Then um, Noah entered into the ark and all hell broke loose. That flood came, man. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more and yep. and swords in their hands. Wow, man! A, a sword represents that weapon, mainly the gun. These people gonna be getting bucked down. A lynching is coming back at an all-time high. Good luck going right back to um, Matthew twenty-four and twenty-one. Say a day gonna come that ain't never happened on the face of the earth. So it's gonna be worse than seven A.D. and everything, bro. It's gonna be worse than slavery, bro. Yeah. It's gonna be worse than post-slavery. You know, um, after slavery, it was worse for Jake. Cause it's the end-all, be-all for you know wickedness on the earth. So the Lord has to bring. You know, a judgment, you know, the Lord is going to bring judgment and plagues that that's going to last for all the ages. Right. You know, that the Lord's name may be uh, magnified. This is what happens when you uh, when you uh, when you come up against the God of the Bible, when you rule your your society in wickedness. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, for there, for there should be sedition among men. Right. And invading one another. So now you're going to start seeing people because it's going to get so crazy out here. Now you're going to see people invading each other's houses now. Mm -hmm. The scriptures tell us the love of many shall wax cold. They always, whenever they see us out there on the highways and byways, they say, um, um, they say Jesus, no saying, but we know that in his name. It's all where's the love? Where's the love? Where you ain't gonna be saying where's the love at when all hell break loose, you're gonna be trying to invade someone's house to get some food to feed your kids or to feed yourself. Yep, and where it says I got that finish of sedition, it says right. for there shall be sedition among men. Uh, definition of sedition, conduct or speech enticing people to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. And don't you see that going on throughout the four corners of the earth? It's going to happen even more here in America, though. Mm -hmm. Like over there in China, you got sedition among men. Over there in Korea, sedition all throughout the four corners of the earth. Over there in um, London yep. and in like Greece. In all those other countries, you got sedition among men. These people ain't listening to the government no more. That's why you got the yellow vest. These people ain't listening to the government anymore. Mm -hmm. It's only two thirds over here, man, still trusting in the government, bro. Still voting, man. Yep. Vote for what, man? That's right. You got Haiti, you know? Right. You know, you don't even hear about Venezuela anymore, Brazil, you know? Because they have the pretty much immediate blackout over there. Right. You know? What's going on over there? Just a couple of years ago, they were having famines and people were getting eaten, you know, in these prisons. Mm -hmm. You know, they were going to the zoos and clearing out the zoo. What happened to those people over there, you know? Right. You don't really hear on the mainstream media anymore. But we know it's still going on, though, heavy, though, you know? Mm -hmm. they want, they're trying to make the people think that it's all back to normal now. But we know it ain't. Yeah. The Lord said peace ain't coming to the earth no more. Look, in order for you to have peace, you got to have war first, you know? Yep. A little bit more, uh, yep. and it says, and they shall not regard their kings, right, nor princes. Oh, yeah, re remain calm, let's remain, um, um, get back in order. So, forth and so on. look, look, we're gonna make it better for you. They're like the hell with that, man. We ain't believing nothing you got to say, you know. Yep, and that's our Esau's witchcraft as well, you know. That's mm -hmm. why all these uh movies, you know, they always say remain calm, remain calm, but then like. As soon as uh they say that people start breaking out screaming, mm -hmm. you know, running. They they have that uh the thing that happened in New York City where uh you know, I believe it was just a uh, everyone thought there was a gun, you know, but there was really no danger. Oh yeah, it was somebody back caught backfiring. Yep. Everybody and everyone just started running. Right. You know? It's cause they were scared, you know, that's how it's gonna be in that day, but much worse, you know. Oh, yeah, so there is gonna be terror should make them afraid on every side. Yep. It says 
<laughs> these so, people, you mean you're slacking, bro? Them people was hauling ass too, right, bro? Yeah. yeah a car was backfiring. Some people dropping their kids. Some people was leaving their kids and everything, bro. <laughs> so you got so yeah, some people so scared they left their kids, bro. Imagine when it really popped off, though, man. Yep. This is Second Ezra's uh, fifteen and sixteen. In the course of their action, shall stand in their power. You got mobs group, grouping up, you know, blocking off streets and all that. Man, you come down that street, you better know something. Mm -hmm. Word up, man. That's right. Only the strong gonna survive in that day. A man shall desire to go into a city, right, and shall not be able. Yeah, because they're gonna, they're gonna, um, the government gonna have to send the troops in, man. They gonna have to lock it down. That's when martial law gonna pop off. And you ain't gonna get be able to get from one town to the other town. So wherever when martial law pop off, wherever you at, you're gonna be stuck there, man. You know, if your wife in one city and you in another city somewhere, you're trying to get home, you'll never see her again. Yep. You'll never see again. Going right back to what it won't that I am legend. They they blocked off the cities and all they that. Blew up the bridge. Yeah. Yep. They even have that movie. Uh, it's a newer movie called 18 Bridges. You know, they're trying to catch uh, 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 some criminals and they, they shut down all the bridges in one night. Right. It took not, no effort whatsoever, you know? So, you know, they can easily blow up the bridges, you know, and, or just block them off, you know? Mm -hmm. it, and it reads, for for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Why? Right, because pride goes before destruction and um, a hearty spirit before a fall. Mm hmm. See the God of the Bible hates these prideful people, man. That's why. That's why Malachi four one says, "Um, all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble." This place is gonna burn soon, come man. All right. The God of the Bible says this place is gonna burn as an oven, man. Extremely hot, man. You wicked people would not be able to escape. That's why we sent forth to warn our people, and we, we warn them each and every day, starting off with the head apostles. And the elders of Great Millstone been warning our people for 30 years, but then you got these false prophets still speaking folly, bro. Mm -hmm. They're speaking this nonsense, man. We're supposed to be warning the people of death and destruction that's coming, man. And I got some scriptures for you, too. Come on, come on. Um, it says, for verse 18, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Right. I look, uh, and then we read er earlier, you know what I'm saying, that same, um, like a verse right before that, all these things are going to be happening for the lack of bread. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, well, you ain't read one. that part yet? No. Oh, okay. It's lucky. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Hey, look. Y'all I mean, ain't seen nothing yet. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Mm -hmm. You don't give a damn who, who's living next door, man, or what they're going through. It's going to be all about you and your family, or if you by yourself, it's going to be all about you. Only the strong will survive in that day, man. You don't care nothing about that old woman living next door. That you've been being nice to for the last 15, 20 years. Come on, man. You've been trying to break her house to see what kind of good she got, right, bro? Yep. And if you have the bust in her head, you're going to do it, man. Jake was still from his own mother, you know? Right. Much more complete stranger. Right. It says, but shall destroy their houses with the sword right. and spoil their goods. That's right. The word spoil means to rob. Mm -hmm. They're going to take whatever you got, man. If it ain't nailed down to the floor, they're going to take it, man. That's right. Because... Of the lack of bread. Right. That famine going to get hard, man. That famine is going to get hard. You read about the, um, back in the ancient times when that famine was out, people was eating their kids and everything, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, straight up just boiling them. Boiling them. And our people ain't got no faith in your house about Shema Shah to just wait on the Lord to bring them some food. So our people don't say going to be eating their kids. At first, they're going to eat all the grass in the yard or whatever, bro. Eat the different tree limbs or whatever. And then that's they know they're going to resort to eating them babies, man. You know, all you people with a whole lot of kids out there, look, you're going you're gonna to boil them soon come. According to the Bible, you're going to bake them soon come. You're going to roast them kids soon come. According to the Bible, man, if, you in, if you're not protected by the Lord, man. Yep. And it reads, because of great tribulation. I'm right. Sorry, I'm sorry. For the, because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right. These people going to be catching so much hell, man. These people, these people, actually, these people really going to bug the hell out, bro. It's going to be um, mayhem. Pandemonium, bro. People just be running up and down the street, hooping and hollering. You can pretty much picture it, bro, out from all the movies that we watch. Uh -huh. Like you said, you mentioned, I think you mentioned Bushwick. Uh, Bushwick was a good one. Yeah. They had one, uh, uh, Goodbye World. Um, they have a lot of movies, you know. Uh, uh, the Dark Knight uh, Rises, that was a good one. Right. You know, where they showed all the people fighting against the police officers. You know, it was just a lot, you know. 
in the in the in the bad guys have pretty much taken over the city. You it, know, was, it was like to soak in at one time. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because mm -hmm. like, because it, it, on Bush, it was like a day like this. Everybody was just chilling, and you know, all of a sudden, bro, just like that, it, all hell just broke loose, bro. And then it was a number of guns shooting, you know what I'm saying? People running up in different spots. Said, look, wherever you was at hiding, yo, look, man, it was kicking open doors, all that, man. And it happened suddenly, man. Yeah. Look at 9-11. Look at uh, the attack of Pearl Harbor, you know? Right. He saw sacrifice a couple thousand of his people to get his uh, false flag, uh, to get his agenda done, you know? That's right. I got something for you, bro. Okay. Would you finish with that? Yep. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time. Yeah, so scriptures are talking about many great miseries. So these miseries are that are coming upon the earth are great, you know, and they're innumerable. Mm -hmm. You look at the judgments that Yahweh by Shema is bringing, you know, every morning you wake up, you check the news, it's something new. It's, it's, it's another furtherance of the coronavirus, you know, right. another so-called terrorist attack. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the miseries. That Yahweh by Shemoshah is bringing because of what this world is full of wickedness. That's right. The wicked is ruling the earth and they have to be judged. Right. For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter times. Yeah, and we're living in the latter times. You know, the latter times, the end days, the, the days leading up to the second coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah coming back to the world equally calls Jesus Christ, you know? Mm -hmm. These are the latter times. That's right. <laughs> it says, um, shall dwell in the world. Yeah, and aren't you dwelling on the on the world in the world right now? The scriptures say under the and I saw under the sun the place of judgment. So mm -hmm. the planet Earth is where judgment is being played out. That's right. And the Lord is reserving you people, you know? You know, you look up the, the, the definition of reserve, it means to set aside for later use, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what he's doing. He, in the, you, like, he's per, he, he's preserving his elect. He, when you look that word, that means to protect them. He's right. protecting them, you know? But he's reserving the wicked for the day of evil, you know? <laughs> to be judged. Look, because they have walked in great pride. Yeah, and they have walked in great pride. Everyone in Babylon is very proudful, very, very prideful, you know? If you can't tell them nothing, you know, they can't be corrected on things. Oh, they know the best way to do things, you know. That's, that's going to be their downfall for them not humbling themselves in the sight of Yahweh by Shema Shah, especially you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. I got something else. Okay. This is um, Sirach chapter 40, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Death. And bloodshed. Yeah, so death and bloodshed, you know, a lot of people dying, you know, by these different famines, race riots, you know, bloodshed being shed in the streets. You know, you're going to have these uh, college dorm students, you know, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be rioting, mm -hmm. you know. Right here you have a, 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 a mostly, you know, heathens go to this school, you know, this is um, NC State. Right. But up the street you got Shaw, you know, where a whole mm -hmm. bunch of, you know, Jake's, they go there, you know. And they know Esau got all the food, you know, so right. they're going to be uh, coming in here and they're going to be shedding their blood, you know, for food. That's know? right. For supplies, for right. alcohol. You know, strife. Strife, fightings against uh, family members. You know, you're going to have uh, Jake's uh, killing their own uh, own parents, you know, mm -hmm. because of, you know, this, this is the type of uh, judgment the Lord is bringing. It's going to be everyone for themselves. That's right. And sword. Mm hmm Calamities. Calamities, go ahead. Famine. Famine, you know, the lack of bread, the lack of resources. Go ahead. Tribulation. <laughs> Tribulation, all types of hell. These things are coming upon the earth once again. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna be in a in a large scale. That's right. Uh larger than you can even imagine. I know that's right. Know? It says I'm um, on, on the whole earth, the whole world. Yeah, the whole world, you know. It ain't no escape. If you, even if you do try to get up out of America, wherever you go, hell gonna be breaking loose there. If you make it there. Mm -hmm. You think you think escaping America, no sense, gonna be better off for your shit. Look, man, you escape America, no sense, it's gonna be more hell to catch wherever you go. I know you had that one uh, zombie movie where they thought, you know, they were like, all right, well, we're gonna go on this island. We know this island we can go to. As soon as they got to the island, at the end of the movie, there was a ton of zombies. There. I know that's right. Yeah, I remember that. And, you know, they thought they were free. Right. And then they were like, all right, you know, because you know they had that that calm boat ride, you know, to the I island. I think that was World War Z, wasn't it? Oh um, no, this was an older one. Like, so, I'm not sure it had that one Jake in it, but um, I can't. I don't know the movies. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Though. Like Break of Dawn or something. Yeah, Dawn yeah, of the yeah. Dead, I believe. 
But um, you know, they thought they had got away, but as soon as they go on the island, all more hell mm -hmm. broke loose. You know, that's that's the different calamities. You know, oh, we escaped the famine. You know. We got enough food for days. Right. Know? But before you know it, you got someone knocking on your door or someone watching you. Now they break it and stealing your goods, which mm -hmm. you just fought and lost men to get, you know? It says, and the scourge. Mm -hmm. It says, these things are created for the wicked. Yeah, so these things were created for the wicked, you know? So the Lord has created these things for the wicked, the wicked of, you know, of the Israelites and your other nations. And he's going to use it. He's going to pour his judgment upon them mm -hmm. using these things. So tribulation is going to come upon a lot of these people. Different famines, different uh, fightings, different uh, killing instruments are going to be used. Your blood is going to be shed. That's right. Because what they say, when uh, when you ain't got nothing to lose, you lose it. Mm -hmm. You know, when all is lost, you just lose it, you know. Mm -hmm. It says, these things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. Yeah, so that was the first death, the flood, and the Lord does not change. You know, if the, if that was used, uh, if if that was the uh, cause of the first death, you know, the second death are going to have those same uh, same devices. You know, that's right. Those so same instruments of cruelty are going to be used against the wicked. I got some. Mm -hmm. This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse twenty-four. Woe to them that sin. Yeah, scriptures say woe to them that sin. Now, woe, when you look it up, it means pretty much death and destruction, great mourning mm -hmm. and sorrow unto them that sin. Now, who can sin? Only the Israelites can sin. Right. And sin is breaking the commandments, you know, not having faith. Scriptures say whatsoever is not as faith is sin. Right. You know, and a lot of people, they're going to be lacking faith in that day. So they're going to be committing uh, one, of the, uh, one of the most, um, you know, law-breaking sins right there, you know? The Lord is only pleased with those that have faith. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have faith to believe he can take care of you, you know, and that faith isn't built upon your works, you know, you're not going to be able to stand in that day. Yeah, uh, if, I, if I jump up, some verse 4, it says, all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Mm -hmm. You That's know, right. it's a law of faith, you know, believing in the Lord Yahweh shot, that he can. He can deliver you out of any situation, man, that befalls you, man. Because it's coming, man. It's coming. It says, um, woe to them that sin and keep not my commandments. Yeah, and keep not my commandments, you know. And the majority of our people, they're not keeping the commandments. So what? Death and destruction is going to have to come upon them. Mm -hmm. Our people, the scriptures say, for the wages of sin is death, you know. Mm, that's right. So what work are you putting in? You know, are you putting that work to receive salvation? Are you putting that work to receive a, a, a horrible judgment, right. you know, because everyone is working down here on this planet, whether they know it or not. You That's know? right. And they're working, you know, to the day of judgment when Yahweh Shai is going to come back, you know, and all their works are going to be revealed. It says, said the Lord, I will not spare them. Yeah, so spare, you know, the Lord is not going to spare any of the wicked of our people. He's not going to have any mercy. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not, all right, that one's fine. You know, we'll let him live. No, he's going to put put them down. You That's know? right. It says, um, go your way, ye children from the power. Mm -hmm. Defile not my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. The Lord knoweth all them that sin against him. Yeah, so defile not the Lord's sanctuary, you know, because the Lord knows all those who, who are sinning against him, those who are breaking the commandments, those who aren't living holy. Right. As the Lord commanded us to be holy, scripture say, be ye holy. As your heavenly Father in heaven is That's holy, right. you know we're supposed to be striving for perfection down here on this earth. You know, mm -hmm. being clean through the Word, through the washing of water, being sanctified, being uh, made separate through the Word. These hill, these heathens are filthy. You know, this world is full of pollution and filth, and we have to be washed by this Word. You know, we have to take heed to the commandments of Yahweh by Shema Shai and repent back to the God of the Bible. I got a precept and I'm going to come right back. Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Yeah, you see a lot of these, you know, members of the ISUPK, you know, they're teaching lies, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of these other Israelites, they're teaching lies, you know. So he's unjust, let him be unjust still. Scripture says, if any man be ignorant, let him remain ignorant, right. you know. That's right. And he that, which is... I'm going to read it again. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Mm -hmm. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Yeah, let him be filthy still. You know, we're not trying to save anyone. All we are doing is preaching the word. The Lord 
is going to do the saving. Right. You know, we can't save you. You know, we have family members who we love, right. you know, and we have, you know, uh, we have people that we might know in the world that might be cool. But look, when the Lord is bringing judgment, we're taking our step back. You I know, know that's right. We're not going to get in the way and ask the Lord, you know, dive over their body. Right. Lord, don't do it. You know, no, nah, yo. It, let You're not crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's <laughs> filthy, yo. So let him be filthy still. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. It's like your brother's scripture say, um, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's right. You know, you got to get yourself right before that great and dreadful day. It says, um, and he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Yeah, so brothers, you, you know, we're, you know, part of the whole full life. You know, we're doing the works of, uh, we have faith, you know, we're, and we're doing the works, you know. Who else is the Lord going to come back and save, you know? So right. we got to remain righteous, you know. Scripture say, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Mm -hmm. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. We're made holy through sanctification of the spirit, you know, and, um, Really, the elect has been made whole. Is being made holy. It has been uh, separated from the foundation of the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, it says, and behold, because this is the point. I'm saying, because you um said something about a person's work. Mm -hmm. Yep. It says, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. So look, the Lord is coming quickly. You know, scripture say what World War Three is coming quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, so what the Lord is coming back at the height of this World War Three when the nuclear missiles are going to be shot off. That's right. He's gonna come when the nuclear missiles are being shot off, and the elect are gonna be getting beamed up at mm -hmm. that at that moment. You know, those who are trusting trusting the Lord, that have fear, that you know did His commandments, that believe. That's right on His word. Oh yeah, because it says um all the um all the non-believers died. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let me say he delivered. You know what I'm saying Israel out of the land of Egypt, but destroyed all those um that didn't really believe. Yeah, but therefore put your remembrance how the Lord, after saving the children of yeah. Israel out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed those that believe not. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can't make. You're not going to get delivered out of here. That's know? right. The Lord's going to destroy you now rather than later. That's right. And my reward is with me. So there's a reward coming. You know, you're you're working right now. Everyone, all everyone on the planet Earth is working. Mm -hmm. You know, whether they want to, whether they acknowledge it or not. You know, they're either on that straight and narrow path or they're on that broad broad path, you know, that leave unto destruction. Mm -hmm. It says, um, to give every man according it to give every man according as his work shall be. You see? Yep. And either you're gonna get the works of righteousness, or you're gonna get and you know, you're gonna get that reward, or you're gonna get your your works are gonna be wicked and you're gonna receive that reward, you know? And the wicked are gonna receive a, a reward of death and destruction. That's right, bro. Well, the righteous receive everlasting life and joy. The Lord came to bring mercy, you know. But are you gonna, you know, take hold of that mercy, you know? So going back to Second Ezra, Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse um twenty six. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh know of all them that sin against Him, mm -hmm. and therefore delivereth He them unto death and destruction. So he's going to deliver them unto death and destruction. Where the elect are going to be, you know, are going to be delivered out mm -hmm. of their trouble. The Lord is going to deliver the wicked of our people unto death and destruction. Dang. You know, you 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 know, really just pick a calamity. Which one you want to go through? I know that's right. You know, because that's going to be the end all be all. Do you want to go through the famine? Do you want to? <laughs> Go through uh, different fightings and bloodshed. Do you want to be out here in the streets during these race riots? Right. You no, know, pick, pick something. You know, and they show you in that movie Bushwick, when 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 her sister got gunned down, and she was trying to mourn. There was no time for mourning. Nope. You know, there was no time for that. The people were like, "Come on, we gotta keep moving. We gotta keep moving." You know, and that's how the movie ended. Oh know? yeah, the scriptures say um, they should not be lamented. I mean, no, like you said, nobody ain't gonna have no time to be crying for you. These people gonna be trying to get out of Dodge, man. Get out of harm's way. They're gonna be thinking about crying. For, they're gonna be crying for you at running, though. You know, mm -hmm. they sure enough ain't gonna be. Cause look, if you stay there with that dead body, that you threw. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna be a battlefield in the streets of America, mm -hmm. literally. And the Lord said He's gonna deliver them unto death and destruction, bro. He's gonna hand them right over, bro. You know, it's gonna be so amazing. People are gonna be amazed how many how much guns is actually in these streets. You know what I mean? How many people are actually gonna be sh uh, getting shot down? Right. How many people are just going to be, you know, there's not going to be any food left. Right. You know? 
And the only thing people think about right about now, bro, is like cell phones and having a good time and just walking around trying to be cute and all that. Look, man, in that day, there ain't going to be no cute women walking around. Your beauty is going to be a curse unto you when all hell break loose if you do look good out here, man. Read no, it says, for now all the plagues come upon the whole earth, bro. Yeah, you see the plagues? You see part of the plagues coming now. You know, the Lord is, you know, beginning to pour out his judgment. But really, it ain't really there. The fact that these people can walk up in the streets in Babylon and go get a meal, you know, proves that, you know, we ain't at that appointed time just yet. You right. Know? But it's building up to things, you know, because the right. watchman has to see the signs and has to give warning. Mm hmm. It says, um, and bro, you can hold Ezekiel um, mm -hmm. 33. Yep. Start at one and we'll read down a little bit. Okay. It says, for now, all the plagues, meaning those um, pandemics, those epidemics, those different diseases. Things of that nature, right? Are come upon the whole earth. Look, and ye shall remain in them. Mm, you know what? You ain't going to get the saved out of it. You know? Look, the wicked is going to be remain here and get burnt up and catch these different uh, coronaviruses, you know, and suffer, you know, a uh, mad persecution mm -hmm. and all of these things. You know, the the the, the, the those who live godly in Yahusha shall suffer persecution as well, but we're going to get delivered out of our trouble. Right. Because we have the angels of the Lord in camp around about us. We have the Lord on our side. That's right. And the Lord is orchestrating these things. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done right. it? You know, so the Lord is doing these things. That's right. It says, um, uh, for Yahweh shall not deliver you because ye have sinned against him. Yeah, and the Lord hateth all workers of iniquity. You know, if you're sinning against the God of the Bible, that means he hates you. Right. So you have to say, um, which, let me get real quick. Yeah. This is Sirach chapter 12. <clears throat> I remember this one out in the while. This is Sirach chapter 12, verse 6. For the Most High hated sinners Dang. and will, will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keep them against the mighty day of their punishment. So you wonder why a whole lot of wicked people, you no know saying, are still on the earth right about now? Because he reserved them for that greater punishment, man. Mm -hmm. Either a nuke. You know what I'm saying? Or either um, a laser beam from the chariot or something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Something vicious. Or either to be ate by these different animals. It says the, um, the wild, um, the um, different beasts and stuff going to get loose and start eating on these people. And yeah. these different birds, you know what I'm saying? The fowls of heaven is going to have their way with these people. Man, it's going to get bad out here, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. If these people only knew what was coming. So, look, we're giving them one the, from the Lord. You know, you look, you either take heed or you don't take heed, you know? That's right. Yeah, they don't know. Yep. I, I'm going to go back uh, and finish this last verse that I want to get. Okay. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 49. I will send plagues upon thee. Widowhood. Mm -hmm. Widowhood, you know. People losing their, their loved ones, you know. What? And the majority of these women are going to become widows yep. from that war. That's right. You know, when their men get shipped off. You know, they have this great draft. Right. You know, they're just their men are going to be dying. Out That's there. right. Or either your man try to go out there and get some food or whatever for yeah. you, and he ain't coming back home. Mm -hmm. Your man ain't coming back home, man. So a lot of these people, don't, a lot of people are going to be still in that Queen of Heaven spirit in that day. Yeah. You know, oh, nah, baby, you stay here. You know, watch right. the kids. I'll go get the food. You know? That's right. This is widowhood. Poverty. Poverty. You know, a lot of these people are very, these people are rich in America compared to the rest of the world. Right. You know, but they're going to be brought low. They're going to be just another bum on the street. And That's everyone's right. Everyone's going to be like that. You know, your money is going to be, isn't going to be good. Are they show you in that movie, A uh, Goodbye World, that even though the militia people took over the city, and if you had money, they raised the prices on everything. Mm -hmm. You know, they put on cardboard boxes, $49 for an uh, apple. Right. You know? Because, you know, some of these people are going to think that the world is going to come bounce back, you know? But it's not, you know? Oh yeah, um, what they call it, bro? And so, like, if you get kicked out of your house and then somebody else squatters, right? Mm -hmm. You could be having people squatting in these rich people homes once they get kicked out, man. You people gonna be going from house to house, man, just living in them, man. Yeah. Is everybody gonna lose their jobs soon? Come, That's this right. economy is about to crash. That's what the guy the Bible is telling our people, and it's speaking loud and clear, man. And then, right, the banks are gonna empty out these people's banks accounts. Oh, you owe this much money, so we're just gonna go and take all your money from you, right? You know? They hell they doing that now. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. They, some people ain't receiving their um, tax checks, you know what I'm saying? Because um, the government saying they owe for old past cell phone bills, light bills, old rent, um, you know, do, de- dues and all that, man. Oh, garnishing their checks. Right. Yeah, that's what's called. People getting ready to start bugging out, man. It says um, poverty, famine, sword, mm-hmm. and pestilence. Yeah, there goes pestilence again, you know? And different uh, famines lead to even more pestilence. Right. You know, because what their immune systems are going to be very weak, you know. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, the hospitals going to close down. Yeah. The elderly, the elderly people out here threw. If you if you um, walk around with an oxygen tank, you threw, you know, unless the Lord knows they have mercy upon you, you know. Everyone in the hospital in that day, you know, when all hell, when the lights go off and look, when the, when that, when that Lord's will when the EMP hits, you know? Right. People, planes are going to be falling out the sky. That's right. Everyone on life support is going to be dying. Right. You know, uh, you know, they're working. Their machines are going to stop, going to cut off, and, you know, they can easily be crushed. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot of death. It's just going to, uh, it's going to be like the movie that happening, you know? People are just going to start dying out of nowhere. No one's going to know how to explain it. And, and and that's what these people ain't thinking is coming, bro. Because these people are very prideful. They think it's always gonna be a restaurant. It's always gonna be a Bruce Burger somewhere. You know what I'm saying, bro? Bruce Burger and, uh, and bagel. You know what I'm saying? Shop. You know what I'm saying? Or Hardee's or McDonald's. Some nah. They got the Bible. It's a grand opening. It's getting ready to be a grand closing in. to America soon coming. You can believe that. It says um to w- and pestilence to waste thy houses with death and destruction, man. Yep, so death and destruction has come upon the wicked, you know? And it's only a matter of time, you know? So, brothers, just stay locked into the spirit, you know? Oh, look, bro, and throw a and throw Terry weight on it, right? Mm-hmm. I got one more. Okay, I'm still in Ezekiel. Yeah, you still got Ezekiel? Yeah. Uh, let me read this, and then we'll bring the Ezekiel out. Okay. This is St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse um, 6. And you should hear wars and rumors of wars. Read verse 3. Three, mm-hmm. kind. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And he and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, mm-hmm. Tell us, when shall these things be? Mm-hmm. And what shall be the sign of thy coming? Go ahead. And of the end of the world. Yes, yeah, so these things that Yahweh is just talking about are at the end of the world. You know, mm-hmm. you have some people saying that these things already happened. You know, some of them did, but what? Like I was shy is prophesying the things of the end of the world. Right. You know? And these are the signs the Lord's about to tell you. And you look up that word, world right there, it's aeon, which means the age. That's right. You know, a period of time, right? It says, um, read on verse four. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. And you have a lot of people trying to deceive, you know? You have a lot of people saying that, you know, they're just really teaching for vain glory. You know, teaching to get a, some attention. You know, them themselves are deceived because the scripture says, "Deceived and the deceiver are his." Mm-hmm. Uh, evil man seduce yourself, wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Right. You know, so the Lord is telling us to take heed, man. Be on, be on lookout. That's right. There's gonna be lying teachers out here. That's right, and then the brother coming out of the cut right about now too for real, for real, ain't it up, bro? Mm-hmm. See, you how about Shemel Shai's revealing? Who is true prophet? So he says, "Then ye shall know who my servants are." Yeah, you, you gotta um, be, you got a spiritual discernment to be able to see that, though. You know, it says, "Um, I read that again. Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come on my name, saying." And where are we taking heed to the things that we were taught, the right. things that we learned? You know, as a as, as a newborn babe, you know, taking heed, you know, so that we can may grow and be saved by the word. You That's know? right. Okay. That's right, bro. It says, um, I was going to say something, but I forgot it, but I just read on. It says, um, uh, for many shall come on my name. Oh, yeah. If they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. So you got a whole lot of our people being deceived by God that ain't even speaking according to the Bible. That's why it says, blessed is he that readeth, man. Yeah, they don't have the light, you know, so they can't guide them in this darkness, mm-hmm. you know. They're being, they're tripping and falling themselves. That's right. Uh, and then the scriptures also say, uh, you took heed to that false prophet, you're going to get the same condemnation that he get, or worse, for taking heed to that false prophet, right? That's right. Because there's more false prophets than real prophets anyway. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And Israel don't even know. They think everybody knows saying it's rep- They think that the men that are speaking the truth, according to the Bible, they think they're the enemy. Look at Elijah. Whenever Elijah had um, came back and he faced the prophets of Baal, right. he said, the prophets of Baal are 400, and I myself am left alone serving the Lord. Right. You know? Right. So, so the false prophets outnumber the real prophets, but the false prophets are but for a moment. You know, a lying tongue is but for a moment, right? It says, um, and shall deceive many. Yeah, and shall deceive many, yep. And a lot of these undesirables, those, the great multitude that were born in vain are being deceived, you know? Right. You can't deceive the, like, that's why these false prophets, they have their purpose, you know? It's to deceive the undesirables, deceive, the, deceive these niggas. That when they do videos, eating McDonald's and right. joking and laughing. Drinking soda pop, drinking them big giant sodas and all that too, Reading bro. Reading the pocket while they're doing, taking a bath. Like Burping and all that, you know what I'm saying, bro? Burping and all that, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, it's crazy, right? Doing music videos. It's, it's, it's outrageous, though, man. You know, that's why people love, though, bro. Our people love a good show, though, you know? Yeah, and then you guys see they're making music now, you know? They have their own radio station yeah. that plays live music. Yeah, rap music at that, bro, in the background, you know? Yeah, You get to dance right before, you know what I'm saying? The, song, the uh, teaching come on, right? Yeah, that's supposed to be the gospel. Yeah. It says, and you should hear wars and rumors of wars. Yeah, and that's what we're hearing, you know, wars, rumors of wars, you know? The vision speaking loud and clear, ain't it, bro? Mm-hmm. You know, Iran talking about, oh, America, they're over here on our side of the world, you know? We're not over there, you know? North Korea still talking their smack, right. you know? It ain't going to stop, you know, because these things are eating up. That's right. It says, see that you be not troubled. Yeah, so we're not supposed to be troubled, you know. We're supposed to trust in the Lord because we want, we're supposed to want these things to happen, you mm-hmm. know. Oh, I'm not going to be able to go to work anymore. Yeah, bro, don't get scared now. Yeah. You been, you been, uh, you, you say you believe in the gospel, you believe in the good news. The Lord said all these things must come to pass. We got to see more war. We got to see more death. Pestilence, plagues, you name it, job losses, all that. The economy got to crash in order for, look, two kings can't reign at the same time, man. Nope. And we got to remember, we're slaves in this society, right. you know, so we should be, you know, scripture say the captive hates to, to be set free, you know, right, to be saved from the pit, you know. We should be wanting to be saved out of here. Right. We're slaves, man. Remember, Israel, we're slaves. P- POWs, prisoners of war, man. We're being held captive against our will, man. That's why the Lord said that Moses, you know, uh, let my people go. Right. You know, the Lord is going to come and let his people go. Oh, yeah. I remember it said um, many shall, um, dece- um, shall deceive um, people. But the Lord said if it was possible, the elect would be deceived, but it's not possible. Mm-hmm. So it's not possible for the elect of the nation of Israel to be deceived by these false prophets, man. Okay? And if they fall for their nonsense, the Lord's going to um still make a way out of that nonsense for the elect man if it's any elect among those false groups bro which i'm pretty sure it is the lord no saying is going to deliver them from that madness bro before it really go down you know that's right it says um uh see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass yep for all these things must come to pass you know not maybe they must come to pass right because you know? what it's the will of the heavenly father it ain't no i think about um bringing them in the past nah they must come to pass. Mm-hmm. We, we, we must see the coronavirus getting an alarming rate or another disease coming right after that to take take thousands and millions off the earth, you know? Yeah. It says, um, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, the end is not yet. You know, these things have to come to pass. And then even more judgment, you know, the, con- the when the, when the, uh, when the uh, you know, was it SH? IT or SH, yeah. you know, when, yeah. when things hit the fan, I say right. like that, when yeah. things hit the fan, you know, and things are out of control and it's time for Jacob's trouble, hey, that's that's when the, uh, things are really going to get real. That's right. Know? That's right. It says, um, for nation shall rise against nation. Different race wars, you know, uh, fightings against one, one another. Your best, your your best friend that might be a mobile because these mobiles are gonna get it too, you yeah. know, against these different uh, Edomites. Because what now they're the the face of disease, right? But, they the new niggas. Yep, but that's why they're trying to paint the picture. Oh, if you have a beard, you know, because what Jake rocks a beard, right? Know? These other nations don't rock beards, right? Esau might rock a beard for a day or two, maybe a week, then he shaves it down, right? You know, 
Jake is the only one rocking the beard out here. Mm-hmm. Because that's in their spirit. That's right. A kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom. You're going to have Russia uh, coming up against America. You really can have every nation with nuclear capability coming up against America. Mm-hmm. You know? That's going to be the end all be all World War Three. That's right. They might appear to be on America's side, you know, at, at, at first. You know, but really, you know. When those nuclear missiles are being pushed, they're gonna point their missiles right at America. Right. Oh yeah, the brother put um it's, it's in the same chapter, uh, Matthew 24, 24. About the uh, I'm gonna read that and then I'll come right back. This is Matthew 24, 24. For there shall arise false Hamashiachs and false prophets. I have the truth, you know, I'm the follow me. Right. You know, we're the way, we're the way to righteousness. We're we're the way to the kingdom of heaven. Right. We got the knowledge, you know. Mira Johanna, no saying I said Johanna. Johanna, no saying General Johanna said, no, I'm saying, um, follow me, no, I'm saying, because we the only ones that got the truth. Yep. Get up, gone, come up on the I U S I S U P K. You know what I'm saying? The commanding general. So everybody report to his Passover, bro. This dude crazy. Look, a hundred dollars at the door, bro. Hundred dollars at the door. Make him make a killing, ain't he? Look, look, he gonna have boys and men them there probably dancing too. You know how they do, bro. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be eating cornbread and everything, bro. Yes. Macaroni and cheese and all the other stuff, bro. The Passover, bro. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with them, bro? Bitter herb, cilantro. Right. What, what, what's wrong with them, bro? Mm-hmm. You know, it says false amashiachs shall, um, for there shall arise false amashiachs and false prophets. False prophets. Look at TV Jakes. Right. You know, sound like everyone in the damn whole museums. Oh, uh, preach. You right. Know? It's a just a big show. It's an act. That's right. They probably have people hired to do that. Yeah, you know that, bro. They have people hired to go in there. You know what I mean? And do things like that. Right. And like they blind. And like they just performed a miracle. Mm-hmm. It says, and shall show great signs and wonders, bro. Yeah, you even have uh, amongst the, the northern kingdom, you know, people, uh, you know, claiming to do all these different miracles and things like that, like you're going into. Uh, this is a... Uh, you know, even amongst the Christian, the so-called Christian church, you know, amongst uh, Issachar, you know, and Manasseh and all of them, you know, those false teachers. Can't forget about them. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are saying they're the Messiah. That they, they perform these miracles, allow their kids to walk and things like that. Right. It says, um, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Yeah, it said if it were possible, you know, look, the, the Lord has preserved his elect. Scripture says, let my vine be kept. For, mm-hmm. for much labor have I made it perfect. That's right. Look, man, the only thing making out of here are the perfected, those, the saints that were perfected, you know? That's right. You got to be, the only way you got to, look, you got to be perfected, you know? That's why the Lord, in order for us to make those shifts, you got to get those new bodies. That's right. Oh, he said no um, corrupt things should enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yep. You know? It says, you know, what's going to say? Corruption cannot inherit in, uh, in corruption. Right. You know? Right. So I'm just finish this last verse. I'm going right back to seven. Mm-hmm. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Yep. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Yep. Famines, pestilence. And you see these things happen. That's how you know we're at the end. Right. You know, earthquakes in different places, you know, all over the world. These things are happening during the right before the Super Bowl. You have that earthquake that hit, uh, you know, uh, right by, ch- um, right in the coast of uh, South America. Mm-hmm. I mean, south of Florida, South, right. not south America, over there by Florida and Cuba, you know, in the in the ocean, you know, yep. over there by Puerto Rico area and all that. Mm-hmm. And they were they were scared that what that it could bring a tsunami. Mm-hmm. Next time it will bring a tsunami, you know. That's right. I'm surprised, you know, they even had the Super Bowl go on with this so-called coronavirus. Well, not with so-called coronavirus, but with this coronavirus being the thing, you know? People still are going to concerts, you know, just doing a whole bunch of, uh, you know, nonsense, not knowing this thing is this thing is serious. Right. Deadly serious. It says all these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is only the beginning, you know? Everybody thinks things are bad now. You know, these things are only the beginning. Right. You know, people don't know how to drive. Woman got her signal light on, turn left, trying to go right. Right. The bro, all these are the beginning of sorrows, meaning we ain't seen nothing, like you said, bro. Mm-hmm. It's, it's still going around. We don't know what the hell going on. Trying to look at that phone. Father is setting great dignity, man. 
Yeah, but the phones get shut off. The next woman really don't know what to do. Because the, the Matrix, they're going to wake up to the reality of the world. You know, that's what that's what really is about coming. These people are to wake up to reality. You know, they're not going to be able to get plugged into the system, go on their Instagram, you know, have their life. Oh, yeah. And they're going to wake up to reality soon come. I got one more that we'll finish off with, bro. We'll finish off with Ephesians. Okay. The fifth chapter. Did you want Ezekiel? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that right quick, brother Ezekiel. Okay. Ezekiel 33 and 1. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak thou unto the... Sorry, like it. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land... Which that sword represents destruction. If, Go ahead. If the people of the land take a man of their coast... And set them for their watchmen. And don't we supposed to be watchmen? Yahweh Bashimel Shah set up certain men to be watchmen to watch out for the nation of Israel. And if we showing up watchmen, watching the news, we keeping up with current events, news articles, you name it, man. RT, not just regular look, what's going on in the neighborhood, the gentrification. We're watching it all, man. We're watching it all unfold and we're reporting it, man. Yep. It says then whoever then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet, right. take if not warning, if the sword come and take him away. Right. So like it. Verse 3 again, Ezekiel 33 and 33. If when he sees the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet. See, and that's what we do. We blow the trumpet. We know death and destruction is coming. We blow the trumpet. A true watchman blows the trumpet, man. Okay? And warn the people. And we warn the people. Give them warning from me. Go ahead. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take if not warning. Right. If the sword come and take him away. And what's the sound of the trumpet? Us preaching this word. The ones of our people that don't take heed to the sound of the trumpet, the words of this Bible. Go ahead. <clears throat> it says, Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take if not warning. Right. If the sword come and take him away. His blood shall be upon his own head. Right. Look, that's what we out there doing. Every time we do these videos, every time we go out there to the highways and byways, we're getting blood off our hands of the people that don't want to take heed to the word, even though we out there preaching it, man. Mm -hmm. That's why once you put your hand to the plow, you can't look back, bro. That's automatic death, bro. You yep. look back, you got blood all on your hands. Go ahead. And it reads... He heard the sound of the trumpet right. and took not warning. The majority of our people, you got you got um internet, you got a phone, you heard this truth. You didn't take heed. You was warned. It's going to be on you then. Have they not heard? Right. I was thinking the same thing. Yes, fairly they have heard. You know, so they heard the same it. Thing. And it reads, but you he heard. Cool it, bro. Yeah. Yep. It says he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But he that taketh warning to the words of Yahweh Bashmel Shah shall deliver his soul, man. Okay? And it is what it is. Real quick. Ezekiel yep. 33 and 33. Yeah. And when this cometh to pass, lo, lo it will come. Uh, everything that we've been reading. All the prophecies, when they start to come to pass, go ahead. Then shall they know a prophet have been among them. Right, then you're going to know who the real prophets of the Lord was. When everything that they were saying start coming to pass in front of your eyes and you can't escape. It's going to be too late for the majority of our people, man. Okay? And you have been warned by the God of the Bible, man. Yep, that's right. I'm going to read this, bro, and you going to close it out. Yep. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he saith. Awake thou that sleepest uh -huh. and arise from the dead. So look, you got to wake, wake up, you know, we're sounding the alarm. We're blowing the trumpet, telling our people to wake up. We're telling you to arise from that dead state that you're in that, that mindset of, you know, being here in America for the rest of your lives, right. you know, growing old and having children that grow old, thinking that's the heathen do and come and be elevated by this word, you know, come and believe on Yahweh Shai. That's you right. Set your affection on things above, the things that are going to come to pass, you know, come in the near future, the kingdom of heaven, which all starts with this knowledge, you know? This knowledge is supposed to elevate you. The fear of the Lord 
it's supposed to, you know, put you in great fear to make a change. Mm -hmm. You know, that fear of, oh, hey, if I keep doing this, I'm a, this going to happen? So you're supposed to make that change, you know? Mm -hmm. To the terror of the Lord, we're supposed to, the, the, this word is supposed to persuade you. That's right. That's right, bro. Because everything here is temporary, man. Everything that you see is temporary. You know, it won't meant for us to always be here in America, man. Nah. This place had in the beginning and then we had the end of it. Now people should be thrilled, man. It says, um, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh shall give thee light. And then arise from the dead, and Yahweh shall give thee light. Yes, yeah, so you gotta rise from these, you know, these heathens which are the dead, and two thirds of our people, and come and, and get this light from Lord Yahweh so you can know where you're walking, you know? So you can so you can actually see these prophecies, you can see this the, have the vision, you right? Know? Be aware of your surroundings, you know, be be circumspect of the things that are coming past upon the earth. These people through because these people walking in gross darkness, bro. Scripture says, let us not sleep as others do. Right. You know, for they that sleep, sleep in the in the in the night. You That's know, right. we're supposed to be putting on this armor of light. You know, you can read that, um you can read that in Ephesians, you know. Mm -hmm. That's a good book to read. Read that book. Yep. The whole book. It says, um, See then that you walk circumspectly. See then that you walk circumspectly. You know, that's a compound word. Circum, around, spec means to look. So you're right. supposed to be looking around, being aware of your surroundings. A lot of these people, they're physically not doing them. They're spiritually not doing that. When they're uh -huh. walking up and down the street, they're, they're all into their phones. They're not looking around for potential danger or potential right. bugger. How much more upon the things that are going to come in the near future? Right. You know? These different calamities, different race riots, World War Three. They're not looking for those things. They're not even aware in their day to day lives. These people look like they walk around with like um looking like deers when the headlights come on. Mm. Not knowing what the hell going on, bro, you know? When all hell break loose, you know, these people ain't gonna know which direction to run or nothing, bro. They're gonna be falling over each other and everything, bro. You can just see it, bro. Yep. I mean, when the crosswalk is on, they 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 walk, they don't even check the the street to make sure you know it's clear right they don't look both ways for crossing the street no nope. so they're not they're not walking circumspectly you know oh yeah it's gonna be people driving the erratic you no know, saying that they were just trying to get the hell out of dodge be hitting people and all that you know so you see the end time movies like your vans like that you no know, saying big ass um ups vans be just running mowing down people bro you can see it right uh -huh. you know because he's gonna be trying to get the hell out of dodge it's probably gonna be somebody inside that beating his head in so he can just be trying to drive just trying, trying to get the hell out of dodge you know what i mean Mm -hmm. The license plate says 144. Oh, yeah, look, 144 on the license tag. The water you have, Shah, ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Kyle, lie, you lie, you have, Bashimel Shah. This word is only for the elect. We got to throw that out there, too. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is only for the elect. Only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to take heed to this word, man. Okay? That's what we do these lessons for. See then that you are circumspectly, not as fools. Yep. But not as fools. You know, the fools, hey, they're not fearing the Lord, you know? A fool does not fear the God of the Bible. A fool is not aware of the things that are going on. So right. we're not supposed to be walking around as fools with our pants sagging down, you know, watching World Star hip hop videos all day long. Right. You know, not growing in the truth. Oh, he, he, don't, he don't fear the Lord. He don't believe in the Lord. The Lord said he shall not be defended in that day, bro. Mm -hmm. He shall not be defended in that day. We're going to need help in that day, man. We need the Lord now. How much more when all hell break loose, you know? Yep. It says, um, not as fools, but as wise. But, but as wise. Oh, go ahead. No, um, you want to say something? Like no, that? Yeah, it's going to say it. It says, redeeming the time mm -hmm. because the days are evil. Yeah, you know, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. See, the wise are going to be redeeming the time. You know, they're going to be using all the time they have to get right. You That's know? right. If you know... You know, in a couple of days, there's going to be a famine. There's not going to be food. You're going to be stockpiling. Right. You know, you're going to be preparing yourself. Right. You know, you have the, you know, the funny, the story of the three little pigs, you know. One day, the other two brothers, the other two pigs, they wanted the party. Right. You know? But the one, he was chilling, you know, reading his book, you know, the one who built his house with brick. brick. Yeah. And he was chilling. He was like, <laughs> it don't matter, you know. They, he was protected, you know. We have to build our foundation upon the rock. So when the storms come and the winds blow, you know, our foundation is going to be upon that rock. Like That's right. Because every man's work will be tried. Whether it's gold, silver, hail, stubble, man. 
This is the time to be building a personal relationship with your how about shimmy out shot. Forsake the foolish, man, and live, man. Yep. Got anything you want to say, bro? That's pretty much it. And pretty much you see the title, man. It's speaking loud and clear, man. What the prophecies. Though it tarry, wait on it. Because it will surely come. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God. Some people are here for a bed, man. And look, it's, it's going down. It's going down. Lord willing, we'll be protected in that day. Shalom. Shalom.